I just think we're in a much stronger uh, position with respect to reopening than uh, we would have anticipated and the inflation has come along with this. So I think the good news is, I think, is that uh, we announced a new framework. Uh, the chair uh, gave a speech at Jackson Hole last year. Uh, the essence of that framework is that we would allow inflation to run above target for some time. It looks like we're gonna achieve that. Uh, you know, a headline PC inflation uh, projected by the committee to be 3.4% according to the median uh, in uh, 2021. Uh, core PC inflation at 3%. So uh, I think some of that will persist into 2022. Uh, I've got penciled in 2.5% core PC inflation for 2022. So if we really get that, then um, we'll have run inflation above target for some time. And then after that, we'll approach 2% uh, inflation from the high side. And then if you average that across uh, past years, you know, you get something pretty close to 2% uh, inflation. Now, this is a period of high volatility as, as uh, you outlined at the beginning, Mark. Um, no one really knows uh, how this is all gonna unfold, but we have to be ready for the idea that there's upside risk to inflation, could go higher than uh, what I've outlined here. And uh, we have to be ready uh, on both sides, I think, to be able to uh, react to that, to be state contingent, to be nimble just as nimble coming out of the pandemic as I think we had to be uh, going into the pandemic when we made a lot of uh, what now is looking like very good moves in, in March and April of last year. Uh, I think we have to be just as nimble uh, on this side. 